Yo, I don't even know how to start this video, man. Like, there are so many different things going on in my head right now. So many different things I want to talk to you guys about. So many different things I need to address in this video. And I'm just at a loss for words right now, guys. Like, this is crazy. Alright, these are crazy times we live in. And <laughs> I guess we'll start with the animations because... That's probably what you guys came here for, at least most of you guys, and we're going to check them out so you guys can understand exactly where I'm coming from. And what I'll say before we start is these animations are some of the most beautiful things I have ever witnessed in my life. All right, In my 24, almost 25 years of living, I have seen very few things more beautiful than these animations. So good job to Akatsuki. Good job to Bandai, you guys did it, you got me, you got all my money, all my stones, my car, my house, my clothes, whatever you want, I right, just take them, just give me these LRs because I need them in my life. Okay, so we're going to start with the base form Gogeta first, huge shout out to Kawai for posting these on his page, and then we're going to move up from there, from you know the less hype stuff to the more hype stuff. Obviously, the blue animations later, uh, but you'll notice that even the less hype stuff is still pretty damn clean. So here's the 12 key for base Gogeta. So there you go. Yeah, kind of simple, you know, kind of basic, but still really, really well done. And now we're going to move on to the 18 key base Gogeta super. It's like I'm watching the damn movie, man. I'm literally just watching the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Because these are scenes ripped directly from the movie, but obviously still made in the Dokkan art style, so it's not like directly taken. But it's basically the same scene. Ah, uh, so good. Okay. And now we're going to move on to the blue Gogeta because you guys didn't come here for the base forms. You obviously came here for the blue forms. This is the 12 key Gogeta blue super. Let me just go back a little bit and enjoy. I love that blue glow that he has around him the whole time. It looks so good. And also, of course, all the like crazy space dimension stuff going around him. Really awesome, too. So there you go, 12 key super. And uh, now, I'm gonna get to possibly the best animation from the entire batch. Hold on to your seats. Make sure you're ready for this. I'm actually gonna turn on the volume for this one so you guys can hear some of the music, the OST, the new one for this blue Gogeta. Okay, first of all, I lied, there's no new OST here, it's actually for the transformation later on, but um, either way, this animation deserves its own volume, because just look at it, man. Do I need to say more? Do I need to say anything else? The animation speaks for itself. It's glorious. It really is. In fact, I'm going to let it play like one more time, so you guys can really take it in. Okay, there we go, I think we're done. We gotta move on. This movie, this, this video is gonna be way too long. Okay, so that's the 18 key. We're gonna move on to Vegito now. I'm gonna turn off the volume for these ones because there's not really anything special. But this is the base form 12 key for Vegito. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And then let's move on to the 18 key super now. Solid. And here are the blue animations. So this is 12 key Vegito blue. The spear sword slashing the crap out of the enemy. Perfection. That's perfect. And the close up too. I love this close up right here. That one. That one. Right before he slashes the sword. Ah, oh, so good. Okay. And then we have the 18 key super from the blue Vegito, which honestly, in my opinion, is not as good as the 12 key. That's just my opinion. 
All right, you guys can disagree. That's cool too. I think the 12 key for Vegito actually looks better than the 18 key, even though this 18 key looks great. I think the 12 key is a little bit better. Uh, whereas, you know, for the Gogeta, like there's no question the 18 key is better, right? It might be the best animation in the entire game. But uh, for this guy, I mean, the 12 key and the 18 key are pretty close. But that being said, they're both amazing. And now let's get to the transformations. All right, so this is when Gogeta transforms from base form to blue. That smile, that damn smile, man. That smirk just gets me every time. So good. And then this is the 18, I'm oh, sorry, not, not 18, um, the active skill. The active skill for blue Gogeta. Just, I don't need to say anything else, just enjoy, watch. That is intense. Like the intensity is it insane. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to Vegito transforming here. Absolutely glorious. And last but not least, we have the final Kamehameha animation active skill for Vegito Blue. Yo, give them to me right now, man. Just give them to me right now. Uh, did I say Final Flash or Final Kamehameha, uh, Kamehameha before? I don't remember. Because I feel like I said Final Flash, which obviously is not right. I meant to say Final Kamehameha. There you go. And, uh, oh, I almost forgot. Okay, so there's... <laughs> There's also a new summonable Trunks and Mai, and also uh, Bardock and Gine. So here are their animations. The Trunks comes as just Trunks, and then they don't awaken into Trunks and Mai. So here's the SSR Trunks animation. Let me just turn off the sound here because it doesn't really matter. There's no like new music or anything like that. That's it. Basic. And this is the Trunks and Mai. Cool. And uh, also the Bardock and Gene right here, I think. I think this is the TUR animation. Because Kawhi only posted one, so I'm assuming this is the animation once the Dokkan Awaken. Pretty cool. And then we have the active skill. So both the Bardock and Gine and Trunks and Mai have active skills. This is the Gine active skill. I think she provides some kind of buff. I don't remember exactly what it is. We'll take a look in a second. But uh, it's pretty cute, right? It's pretty cute. And last but not least, we have the active skill for Trunks and Mai, which is the evil containment, containment wave. And this animation actually looks really good. This is a really, really good animation. There we go. Sweet. Alright, so those are all the animations you guys took a look at. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about all of them. But now we gotta move on to the Reddit 
where Koresh, of course, has translated all the details for all four characters. Huge shout out, huge thank you to Kawaii. The, did I say Kawaii? 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 Goresh. I'm getting Kawaii and Goresh mixed up now, but they're both legends. Thank you to Goresh this time for these translations. And we're going to start here with the ultimate invincible fusion Vegito. Leader skill is last resort and Patara categories key plus 3 HP, attack and defense plus 150%, which is kind of interesting. I honestly expected 170% for at least one of these stats, but... I guess it makes sense because both Patara and Last Resort are absolutely busted categories. So 170% maybe would have been too much. I don't really know, but it's fine. And his super attacks, 12 key is Vegito combination, 18 key is Big Bang attack, 12 key raises attack and causes colossal damage, whereas the 18 key raises attack and causes mega colossal damage, and his passive is drop dead. Attack and defense plus 70%, gain key plus 3 when attacking an enemy, perform an additional attack, which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack gain a high chance to evade enemy attacks as the third attacker in a turn, and transform when conditions are met, and his transformation conditions are amazing. It just, it's just four turns. Transform after four turns have elapsed from the start of battle. That's it, all right? Nothing fancy, no gimmicks, no HP restriction, no like three enemies, no specific teammates, anything like that. Literally just four turns after the fight starts. He will transform into Vegito Blue. I love it. All right, that's the best way to do this. His links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Brainiacs, Power Bestowed by God, Over in a Flash, Fuse Fighter, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Great link set. Uh, categories are Patara, Realm of Gods, Time Travelers, Future Saga, Kamehameha, Transformation Boost, and Last Resort. Lots of categories too, and he is pretty much going to be optimal on all of them because he is just that damn good. And once he transforms into Vegito Blue, 12 key super becomes Vegito Sword, raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes colossal damage. 18 key is Omega Finish Blow, raises defense for one turn, and causes mega colossal damage, and is passive. This is the end. Attack and defense plus 77%, gain key plus 2, and performs an additional super attack. And gain key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 7% when attacking an enemy. Max of key plus 5 and attack and defense plus 77% as the first attacker, first or second attacker in a turn. And then performs an additional super attack and gain a high chance to evade enemy attacks as the third attacker in a turn. So... A lot to take in here, um, he's ridiculous though, he is absolutely ridiculous, giving himself a lot of key, giving himself more attack and defense every single time he attacks, 2 guaranteed supers per turn, with some hidden potential investment, up to 3 supers, um, just craziness man, he is so damn broken, links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Power Bestow by God, over in a flash, Fuse Fighter, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power, Active Skill, Final Kamehameha, able to activate starting from the next turn after transformation, and there is one enemy, and that enemy is 50% or less HP. So, obviously a bit restrictive here, but not too bad, alright, by far not the worst we've seen. You just have to be fighting one enemy, the enemy has to have less than 50% HP, which, uh, you know, for a lot of events you can achieve, right? So, that's fine with me, I think it's okay, and... It, it's gonna do a lot of damage, for sure, right? It greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage. Ultimate damage is like a 600% multiplier or something like that. So that's gonna be ridiculous once you can get it off. It's basically a finishing move. It's gonna end the fight in most cases. And then we have the strongest ultimate fusion, Gogeta. Last resort and fusion category, key plus three. HP, attack and defense plus 150%, super attack. 12 key is metro attack. Interesting, raises attack and causes colossal damage, and 18 key is Kamehameha, raises attack and causes mega colossal damage. Passive is ultimate power, attack and defense plus 70%, gain key plus 3 when attacking an enemy, performs an additional attack which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, gain a high chance to evade enemy attacks as the third attacker in a turn, and transform when conditions are met. And his transformation conditions are transform after 4 turns have elapsed from start of battle, same thing as Vegito. And Link's same warrior race, fuse fighter, prepare for battle, over in a flash, Kamehameha, fierce battle, and legendary power. And his categories are last resort, fusion, realm of gods, Vegito, uh, movie heroes, 
Where did Vegito come from? I'm probably thinking about Vegito at the same time. Movie Heroes, Kamehameha, and Transformation Boost. His super attack, 12 key is Stardust Fall, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And 18 key is Meteor Explosion, raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 77%, gain key plus 5, and additional uh, performs an additional super attack and gain attack and defense. Wait, is it attack or super attack? Wait a second. Okay, so I didn't notice this before, but Vegito performs an additional super attack, whereas Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta performs an additional attack and gains attack and defense plus 7% when attacking an enemy and attacks effective against all types as the first or second attacker in a turn. So I'm not really sure if that's a typo and it's supposed to say supposed to say super attack or maybe because his attacks are effective against all types, it's just a regular additional. I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, maybe this additional attack has a chance to become a super attack? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Uh, performs an additional super attack and gain a high chance to evade enemy attacks as the third attacker in a turn. Active skill is ultimate Kamehameha conditions, able to activate starting from next turn after transformation and there is one enemy and that enemy is at 50% or less, same thing as Vegito. Greatly raises attack and causes ultimate damage. Links are Super Saiyan, Fuse, Fighters, Warrior Gods, Over in a Flash, Kamehameha, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And now we're going to move on to the Future Trunks and Mai. Leader skill, Join Forces category, key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 120%, or AGL types, key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 70%. Super Attack is Shining Cross, greatly raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. Passive is Attack and Defense plus 100%. Gain key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 100% if there is a character on your team whose name contains Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan or essentially Super Saiyan Blue. Gain attack plus 100% if there is a future saga category enemy and gain key plus 3 and attack plus 100% and performs a critical hit if there is an enemy whose name contains the Masu or Goku Black. Uh... <laughs> Dude, the amount of buffs these these characters or this character can get, but um, even you know without these specific enemies, if you just have a Super Saiyan Blue character on your team, that's 200% attack and defense right there, right? And then on top of that, you can get up to another 200% for fighting a Zamasu or Goku Black. That's crazy. And uh, the active skill is Evil Containment Wave, temporarily increases attack by 628%, deals critical hits during turn of activation, and stun the attack enemy, own defense is halved. 628%, dude. That's just wild, man. What are, what are these units? What are these units? Uh, links are Baniacs, Cold Judgment, Bravery, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, Rival Duel, and also Fierce Battle. Categories, Join Forces, Time Travelers, Future Saga, and Last Resort. Bardock and Gine, Parental Guidance, Leader Skill, Movie Heroes, Category Key Plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense, Plus 120%, or STR Types, Key Plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense, Plus 70%, Super Attack, Final Spirit Cannon, Greatly Raises Attack for... Attack and defense for one turn, it causes supreme damage. Passive is attack and defense plus 100%, gain key plus 3 and attack plus 100% if there is a character on your team whose name contains Goku, excluding Ginyu or Junior. Uh, gain attack plus 100% if there is a movie boss's category enemy, gain key plus 3 and attack plus 100% and performs a critical hit if there is an enemy whose name contains Frieza, excluding Soldier. Alright, uh, active skill, DNA support conditions, able to be activated starting from the 4th turn from the start of battle, and HP is 80% or below, and the ability removes any abnormal conditions from allies, and all allies, attack plus 22%. For two turns, links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Pride, Cold Judgment, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Experienced Fighters. And categories are Movie Heroes, Joint Forces, Goku's Family, and Pure Saiyans. Okay, so those are all the details for all four characters as well as their animations, which you guys saw earlier on Kawai's page. Let's actually go back to... Ooh, what do I want to stay on? Uh, let's go back to the transformation. No. Hmm. Let's go back to the 18 key super for Gogeta, because honestly, that one is still my favorite. 
it is still my favorite animation out of the entire batch. I know the active skills look amazing, but this is number one for me. No question. And that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. It went way longer than I thought it would, but uh, I mean, I just, I just had to admire these animations for a little bit longer. So I apologize. Hope you guys don't mind the extra long video. Hope you guys are hyped for all these characters. All four of them look absolutely insane. Even the two summonable um, side characters, right? The Trunks and Mai, Bardock and Gine, still incredible. Just with those passives, it's 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 crazy. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Get hyped for the release of all of these characters very soon, I think literally tomorrow morning around like 7 a.m. or something like that. I could be wrong, but that's what I've heard, so don't hold me to it. But uh, yeah, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.